Another controversial video. I'm about to talk about it. So if you want to like fact check me and everything, do me a favor and watch the video from the beginning to the end before you leave a comment. Or you could be looking like the Bitcoin dude who actually didn't read or watch the whole video and instantly jumped to an erroneous conclusion. All right. Black Lives Matter, the organization. With the killing of George Floyd and the Roshad Brooks, there was a lot of people marching and using the words, the nomenclature of Black Lives Matter, which is a group founded by lesbians that has nothing to do with heterosexual black men. Let me be really clear. In, on the website, and it's still there, I checked today, and I'll, I'll put it in this video. They talk about queer folk, trans folk, and the abdication of the nuclear family. This is on their website right now, if you care to look. And I am not a follower, I'm more of a leader, so I wouldn't have fell into the following of Black Lives Matter but the narrative has grown super huge and there are many people who are participating in marching and protesting without actually knowing what they're supporting, which is kind of an American thing to go out and to participate, to be part of an organization and not really know the nuts and bolts of the organization. Because like I said, years and years ago, 2013, when I first heard about Black Lives Matter, I went to the website and I was like, I'm not for this. And I even think I did a video talking about it because if you go ahead and do your investigation, now I'm all up for the liberation of people of color, black folks, uh, black folks um, get claiming power, black folks to be stopped, murdered by the police. I'm all down for that, but I do not support the organization of Black Lives Matter because the organization of Black Lives Matter does not support me, a black, heterosexual, masculine, dominant male. I am the antithesis of the many things that they hold dear and the principles in the guiding situation that they have put together. I'm the boogeyman to them. I'm like, Look, I don't go around in a pickup truck beating up on gay people, lesbian people. I probably have a few lesbian gay friends. I don't really know because I don't ask. I'm like, are you gay? Are you a lesbian? And there's a few people that I've met who have been cool with that was clear that was their orientation. So you be whoever you want to be. I'm not going to beat you. I'm not going to criticize you. I'm not going to talk crap about you. It's your life. You do what you want to do. However, in the, in the vein of Black Lives Matter, I, I actually have some issues with their doctrine. I don't have issues with the cause because essentially they're using the bodies of dead, normally heterosexual black men to push their agenda which I think is foul because once again, once you begin to investigate and look at it and understand what this organization is about, they're not about strong nuclear black families, not about that at all. They're not about strong black men, not about that at all. And these are some of the things that I am about and we're at odds because so many people will go ahead and join an organization without fully investigating it and knowing what they're getting themselves into it. Because there were many, 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 many people out there who were marching and protesting and chanting Black Lives Matter who didn't understand what they were supporting. And many of those folks, if they had went to the website and looked at the agenda, they would have been like, ah, maybe they would have been out there. I don't know. I don't know. Because like I said, my recommendation, because these protests are still going on. They're still going on. And my recommendation, if you're a sane, um, suitable, care, you know, caring person, so, you know, protest during the day, but take yourself at home at night 
because a lot of bad things are happening in the middle of the night to these protesters out there because the streets don't care. The streets are mean, the streets are unforgiving, and we're getting people out here who are being killed because they're at the wrong place at the wrong time. But, you know, I know one of the, one of the big issues I have as a black man is because I am black there is an assumption that I'm going to support certain things because I am black, which in a way is a form of racism. Like other blacks who come to me using the N word and literally every time that happens, I have to check them. And it's always this hostile, tense conversation because how dare I have a problem with this person calling me a name that I feel is derogatory. Well, we black. We, we, this is what we supposed to do. No, 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 no. We're black. That much is true, but I am a different black person than you are. I am very different. I don't use that word. I don't think black people should use that word. I don't think white people should use that word. I think we need to retire that word and everyone stop using it. And I feel that it is felonious, stupid, and just twisted that black folks have shaped this into that this derogatory term even used by black folks in a derogatory term is now somehow a positive spin on a negative, negative, nasty word. I don't think so. And it's, it's always having this conversation with a black person, in my opinion, that is operating on a lower wavelength. Because if you knew your history, the history of the Moors, the history of the Egyptians, if you knew your history, you would know that they were not that they were mathematicians. They enslaved the Europeans. They conquer worlds. They develop trade routes. If you really knew your history of powerful, scientific, wealthy black people, you wouldn't be walking around calling yourself that because if you knew your history and you knew the greatness that was within you, you wouldn't be walking around like, like from porn to rap. It is crazy that this ghetto hood culture prerogative is so dominant that you will be out and another black person will approach you and use that term and you should be cool with it. It's one of the worst things and it's one of my biggest pet peeves with hood black culture. The use of that word, that's one of the biggest pet peeves. And also with this, and I'm gonna go back to my video when I was talking about doing white collar crime, you know, I, I have a problem with a commenter who was saying I took a shortcut because he did not watch the video. When I said I gave the money back, there was no shortcut. I got a job. I worked my tail off and then I got another job and I stopped doing bad things because once again, and this is another issue with people is only illegal if you get called. If you don't get caught, it's all good. And once again, I never, ever, ever, ever rationalized my behavior. I never, ever went ahead and say, well, you know, the white man's doing this. I knew what I was doing was wrong and it bothered me. It kept me up at night and I stopped doing it and I never did it again. And this is one of the things that, you know, you, you have to look at who you become and who you are. Because once again, I'm like, people don't understand to be overnight success is gonna take you about 10 years. In these videos, I have talked about getting a job. In these videos, I have gone to great length to say, hey, start your business on the side. Don't quit your job. I have gone to great lengths to say that because that's what I did. I did not quit my job to start my business. I started my business when I had a job. So instead of just business income, I had my job income and business income. So I had two revenue streams coming in. I will never, ever, ever, ever tell you to quit your job to start a business because I know how hard it is to start a business and you're going to need some attitude money in the bank. You're going to need to accumulate some funds, get some stuff going before you do that. And there are so many of you who watch this channel because it is hustlers Kung Fu and you're looking for some secret 
magical jelly bean. You're looking for something and I'm going to, I'm going to give you the secret. Hard work and failure. When I told you about how I developed the Craigslist marketing system, I've tested, didn't work, then tried some other stuff. This, this is the, this is the methodology. You're not going to get around this. And I know right now we have this Rona and so many people are looking for a quote shortcut, something where you don't have to do the work where you could be up in bed with big booty Betty all day, giving her the, giving her the D while your money rolls in. And I, like, I'm about to be elitist because I've been doing this going on 11 years. And the first thing is you're going to need talent to create an economic device that makes money when you sleep. You cannot be dumb. You cannot be lazy. You cannot be trifling. You cannot be, you gotta be hardworking. You have to be dedicated and you have to continue to work on your craft. This is the lesson. Cause like, you know, I almost didn't do that video because you know, fortunately most of the comments were positive. You know, even had a conversation when I was doing a live stream, it was like, Oh, you were afraid of who you were going to become. So that's why you stopped doing it. Even though the money was sick, I will admit the money was sick. It was sick. It was ridiculously easy. And that kind of scared me because it's like, this is so easy. And I figured that if I kept doing it, I was going to become seduced. And then I was going to be a career criminal. And I didn't want that for my life because I knew I could do better and I did better. So for all of you who watched that video, white collar crime and watch the whole video where I talk about my nervousness, where I talk about it was feeling guilty. When I talk about, I could not sleep at night. Couldn't sleep. It was bothering me. Watch the whole video. Don't just like, see, you got him. He took a shortcut. That's the hookup. That's the thing. And also I'm about to say something. A lot of y'all ain't bold enough to do something that reckless. Notice I said reckless because it was reckless. Cause see, even though I did not take a gun and go rob someone, I was still robbing people. I was still putting my freedom at in jeopardy. Now, the way that I did it, I never put my life in jeopardy because I never picked up a gun. I never threatened anyone. I never met anyone, but I was putting my freedom in jeopardy. Each time I did that, it was an activation to get in my freedom and have me living some kind of crazy way. So, you know, I just wanted to put this out here because, you know, I've got people because I am black. There is these assumptions that I'm going to think like many black folks and that's simply not the case. I just don't. And this is one of the things I want to convey on this channel. And one of the things I want to put down because the, the message is still hard work. The message is doing what you need to do. The message is dedication. The message is picking the business. The message is going to work. The message is doing more. The message has not changed. It has not changed. And like to the person I dared to do it. Yeah. Cause see, if you listen to, you know, you, you only listen to half the message. Cause if you had listened to the whole message, I don't think you would have uh, left that comment. But if you thought that was a shortcut, yeah, I dare you to do it. Since it was a shortcut, it was so easy. I dare you to do it. I dare you to do it because see, this is one of the things that I have been that bothers me. There are many of you who are great, loyal, beautiful, supportive viewers and I appreciate you and subscribers. And there is a, there's a certain element uh, and it's usually black feminine men who have a problem with the things I say because they're jealous. It's like, how did he have all these great experiences? How did he get all these chicks? Cause I worked my ass off. I applied myself. I took chances. I did something with my life. I did not sit there and watch someone else play the game. I put on a uniform and I started playing the game. And you jealous feminine ass men who are all up in your feelings because you feel that you should get the same accolades and rewards that I got out of life without doing the work. And I'm here to tell you, Billie Jean, it ain't gonna happen. 
you're not going to have the kind of life I had by sitting on your butt and w wishing and wanting and hoping and praying. It ain't going to happen. You're going to have to get off your butt and actually participate in the game of life. That's the ticket. And that's a message to you feminine ass, jealous ass black men who like, well, you know, and that's what killed the, the first disruptive male channel. It's like, how, you know, and I start putting up receipts, putting up receipts. And it's like, oh, God, you know, how dare he? It, well, it had to be the money. Here, here's the thing. During the Craigslist protocols, I spent zero. I didn't take these chicks out. I didn't meet them at the bar. I was just able to create an online mechanism that entice women to come to my house and do double monkey backflips all over me. It's called talent. That's what it's called. It's called talent, baby. It's called hard work. It's called effort. It's called the application of concepts, trying, figuring, messing around, doing this. This didn't work, but this worked. Well, this only worked so much. Well, let's go ahead and re vamp this okay now we're getting better results now we're getting better now we're getting the results we want i was a scientist i was in the lab of life and you need to get in the lab of life because this rona it ain't gonna disappear in 2021 it's gonna be with us for a minute and if you want to go ahead and get yourself together you know the drill Go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. Because I'm here to tell you, you must participate in the game of life. You must wear the uniform. You must tackle people. You must kill dragons. And you will start to get the rewards and stuff that you want out of life. But until then, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. So that's all I got for you guys. Go below, get what you need, and I'll see you in the next video.